Our stay at the Disneyland Hotel at Disneyland Paris kicked off in an epic way with dinner at La Table des Lumières, which offers French fine dining in a fairy tale space and is easily the fanciest character meal you've ever seen. Get ready to be enchanted. But will it beat the Marvel themed meal at Manhattan in Hotel New York? Let's see. As gluten-free, dairy-free pescatarians, we were a bit concerned about finding safe foods. Is anything in here good? But the staff took great care to go through the menu with us, and everything from menus to the linens to the view out the window set us up for an incredible meal. I mean, can you believe the castle is right there? And if castle views aren't your thing, our view of the kitchen is sure to wow you. After we ordered, the princesses and their princes came from table to table for lovely photos, and they really took their time at these interactions. Have you all had a nice day today? We have. We, have a day full of we just arrived. Well, thank you. Welcome. Welcome. And soon, the food began to arrive starting with an amuse-bouche courtesy of the chef. A butternut mousse with apple, made gluten and dairy-free by omitting the crumble. And of course, some bubbly. Then as starters, we got a vegetable medley with green lentils, and the kids ordered the stuffed eggs with green apple and cider vinegar. The kids are very into their eggs. They're basically deviled eggs with a real mustard tang, so I'm surprised that they like them as much as they do and a good crunch. I'm not sure what the green sauce is. Did we figure it out? It's a parsley puree. Oh, a parsley puree. But it didn't it didn't make it overly herby. But there's a little bit peppery kick from a mustard. Um, the lentils are really lovely and bright. The veggies have quite a crunch to them and some zip from some vinegar. It's chilled, which I wasn't sure looking at it if it was going to be, but it is, it's, a, it's like a light salad starter. It's really well developed and just beautiful. Good evening, friends. This is Amy's covering the kingdom today, exploring a little bit. Yes? We just arrived tonight. Oh, just before dinner. <laughs> For our main course, we ordered the sea bass, but most of the accompanying sides and embellishments contain dairy, so we got a simple vegetable substitute. And the kids got the same entree in a smaller size. And I'm sure we offended the French by asking for ketchup, but they gobbled it up. <laughs> oh, someone's a little grumpy over here. He is. Someone's maybe a little bashful, huh? He is. <laughs> He does like to hide from princesses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> For dessert, most of the restaurants seem to be getting these bell cakes, which were beautiful, but alas, they have gluten and dairy. The kids got a trio of sorbets with meringues and a little fruit jelly crown. Well, we got the coconut aloe vera emulsion with mango granita and chocolate puffed rice. It was surprisingly well-crafted and bright. Then the chef sent us some sweet little bites as we finished. Pavlova's. Really good. These are already like one of my favorite desserts. But Asher was less excited about the princesses and more excited about the open kitchen views. He's always been interested in the culinary arts and to see a working French restaurant up close was so special. And in a magical moment that we'll remember forever, they invited him inside to meet the chef. He was ready to start his internship right then and there, but we'll wait until after culinary school. Welcome, Chef! Yay! 
This meal wasn't just pretending to be fancy. It wasn't a theme park version of special. It was a fine dining experience like you'd expect from a high-end French restaurant. But it was also kid-friendly and entertaining. I consider this meal a pinnacle and in the top three of my Disney dining experiences ever. It prepared us for a jam-packed day of magic hitting both Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney Studios the next day. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you should click here because we also eat all kinds of treats all across the parks. But on our final day, we had another dinner reserved at Manhattan Restaurant in Hotel New York, just a short stroll through Disney Village and out the other side where the hotels circle the waterfront. Newport Bay Club. Behind the balloon is Sequoia Lodge. Hotel New York features the art of Marvel, and it was a lot of fun to explore. From the comic book art, to the Skyline Bar, to the movie memorabilia, there was so much to see, and I was impressed by all the exclusive merchandise. and the kids channeled their inner superheroes. We peeked into the Empire State Lounge, which is the club level lounge for sweet guests at this hotel, and passed downtown the hotel buffet restaurant. But Manhattan is the sit down restaurant with lots of NYC touches that made it feel like home for us. The menu says this is elegant dining with excellent service like Tony Stark would expect with a chandelier inspired by Asgard. Nick had a great conversation with the server about our dietary restrictions, who checked everything with the chef. And before we knew it, gluten-free bread service was arriving. The kids got a tomato salad as a starter, without the usual mozzarella, and the adults got a vegan minestrone soup. I usually think of minestrone soup as having pasta in it, so I assumed it was out for gluten-free, but it's not. It is a vegan soup. I think they probably make the broth richer um, by pureeing up the veggies instead of starting with any kind of meat broth. Um, and there is no pasta in it. It is um, just the veggies, but a, uh, an Italian seasoning that makes it an appropriate minestrone and appropriate for an Italian restaurant, which this is supposed to be Italian focused. So I was excited to get something that had an Italian style to the flavors. I like the herb flavors coming through. And then you've got the whole beans in it and such. It's really good. Be honest. Do you steal your kids' food so you can have a taste? Hey! Which kid? The tomato salad Let's looks beautiful it. and it's really bright. Let's Simple. Great. We've been getting the same Nutri-Free bread all weekend. And, and it's the best. And it is the best. <laughs> And I was worried because it's gluten-free bread and it um, probably would be great toasted. But honestly, it is in really good shape right out of the packet. So I was worried a lot of gluten-free breads are basically inedible if you don't toast it. Yep, there it is. This one's pretty darn good. Fresh out of the package, room temp, and I'm dipping it in the soup and it is. And it comes in two pieces. In one package. Then, again, we ordered a roasted fish, a Branzino, and the kids got a smaller, kid-sized portion of the same. We love that these restaurants don't only offer, quote, kid foods on the kids' menu. Although your kid might just eat mayonnaise straight out of a jar. The entrees were good. Um, we all got the sea bass. What did you think? Good, thumbs up. The sea bass was good, kind of what you expected but it came with this lemon compote that I thought was a really interesting way to put a little citrus on your fish without giving you just a lemon wedge. Nick found the lemon compote really strange. <laughs> but it was, it was, I, you liked it? Okay, so he, he said it, he liked it. It was strange, but like good strange, like kind of weird, kind of cool to check out. 
Um, but I think the star of the show is the roasted veggies. I think so. Too. Nick agrees. Um, the kids didn't eat them, unfortunately, but some of the best zucchini and roasted red peppers and tomatoes, like everything was charred beautifully. It was just really well seasoned. Just mm, mm, love a good veggie. Um, I did, as I was walking through the restaurant, see folks having some risotto that looked incredible. So I don't know, if I came here and I could eat whatever I wanted, it'd probably be a risotto in my life. But the star here is really those pastas. And worth noting, there is a vegan pasta on the, the menu that is, says it's made with buckwheat. And we were really, really hopeful that the buckwheat pasta would be gluten-free. It's not. For dessert, the kids got these beautiful fruit bowls, but the real star was the vegan dessert. A pineapple marinated in rosemary with chocolate and olive oil cream and hazelnut crumble. It was gluten-free too. I present to you two desserts at one time. There's the like marinated pineapple, like has a tropical feel to it that's a little bit elevated. And then there's like the chocolate olive oil mousse chocolate bar dessert and they smush them together into a chocolate pineapple dessert which to me doesn't I don't think of those two flavor profiles as going together there's nothing bad about any of it I just don't get the connection it's yummy it's more pineapple forward than I expected um, and the mousse is more like a panna cotta it's like really set up it's not a soft mousse it's not an ice cream. It kind of looks like a chocolate ice cream. Um, almost panna cotta -y. I got one piece that was particularly marinated in the rosemary. And once it comes through, rosemary and pineapple together is really interesting and complex. Unexpected. Good. Manhattan Restaurant was quite a way to wrap up our Disneyland Paris stay. But our car was waiting. And we have so much to show you about taking kids on their first visit to Paris. So next time, we'll explore the City of Lights and see it all from a kid's point of view. We'll see you then, travelers. <laughs>